Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of data structures. For today's topic is singly linked list deletion. Hi, this is your instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with today's topic. Students, we are going to learn about the singly linked list deletion. See, this is not a normal deletion where we are just going to delete any node. What we are going to do is here the x is not a value. Here x is an address. So we already get the first, first shows the first pointer of the linked list that shows the starting or beginning of the linked list. So we can understand from which linked list we need to delete the value. We get that from the first pointer value. Okay. If your first is 1000, then your computer will understand that I need to check a linked list which is starting from the 1000. If your first is 50, then your computer will check that I want to delete something from which the link is starting from the 50. Okay, so it will just go towards the 50 and then start the traversing of in the link list. Fine. So here in deletion students, we are not going to return anything. Okay, so what we exactly going to do over here? See, if you remember my example of the stack of the chairs, where if you want any chair, you will just pull out from the stack take it and sit over there, pull out from the stack, take it and sit over there. This is what I call the stack of the chairs. This is what I call the stack of the chairs means I usually call it as availability stack because it is same as this. All the empty spaces of the chairs represents the empty memory spaces, empty nodes. Fine. Now what happens? If you are a good and well mannered student, then what you are going to do is when your task is completed, when your lecture is completed, you will take your chair and put it again on the stack. You will take another student will come, take its chair, again pull it inside the stack. Okay, so this same thing happened with the memory. When you do not need any further load, after deletion of the load, what you need to do is, you just need to free it. Free that means again that node will set to the availability stack. We will see these steps also. So let's begin with the first one, the deletion operation. Usually we are performing the deletion operation. What condition we are going to check is underflow. Yes, sir, are you going to check the underflow condition in linked list? Yes, I am. Because if your linked list does not exist, what you are going to do? Fine. And you already know about the condition. Because in our all previous three insertion algorithms, we have seen that when the link list does not exist, what happens? Your first pointer is pointing to none. So how can you say that, sir, my link list does not exist? Students, when your first pointer is pointing to null, then you can easily say your link list does not exist. So this is my first condition to check the underflow. If f first is equal to null, then you can write that link list does not exist and you can go return. See here, here the return is a statement only. I am not going to return anything. That's why it's a procedure, not a function. Next. If first point is pointing to null, then it's known as underflow. If is that not so, you have some values in the linked list. Then what to do? You have to search for x. See, what is x? x is a value? No. No, x is not a value students. In this example, x is a address. That means you should not write like this info new or info first. You have to take the first. You have to check whether the first value is x or not. Okay, because x is not a value over here. X is an address of a node what you want to delete. Okay, so whatever the node you want to delete, its address is x over there. Fine, we just need to identify or we just need to find out the x. Okay, so how we can do this? Let me show you. See, this is my linked list. This is just for a concept understanding that what we actually want to do. Okay, see, so this is my linked list. So the, the values like 10, 40, 50, 60, and 80 are there. The x is a pointer which is pointing to 60. So what I want to do is I just want to find out the x over there. So how can I do that? Students, to move in the linked list, what we do? We just need to do traversing operation. Correct? Usually we take the save pointer over there, 
for the better understanding i am going to taking the temporary pointer which is known as temp okay because same is also a temporary pointer what is the algorithm i am going to take a temp pointer which is known as a temporary pointer and initialize it to the first so here it is temp is pointing to first so this is my step number 3 step number 2 i am just initializing my temp to first next so after initializing students my temp to first my process will start of finding x over there so what happens i am going to finding the x by writing that until and unless i am temp is not equal to x until unless the temp value is not equal to x or and the link of temp is not equal to x. see you have to find x you have to search x but it's not like that you are just searching x in the whole linked list and x is not there then what to do you just move out from the linked list and if you move out from the linked list at that time last time your link of temp becomes null so this is not going to be happen over here so what we need to do is we just need to write if until repeat our while loop until or unless the link of temp is not equal to null and also check the temp is not equal to x both condition must be true so let's begin the search of the x so in the search of the x see the temporary pointer is there temporary pointer is there okay well, what i am going to do is i am going to take one predecessor pointer so why we are taking the predecessor pointer let me show you why see if this uh, this is a node see if i want to delete 60 students if i want to delete 60 i want name of the 60 okay then after that i want to connect the link of 50 to 80 i need to connect link of 50 to 80 for this i also need name of 50 because one pointer is assigned to 60 one pointer is assigned to 80 how because if i have only one pointer that is temp and i stop temp at x then the name of the 60 is temp and the name of the 80 will become link of temp but what about the 50 so for this particular 50 i am taking another pointer predecessor which is always followed temp if temp is at 40 predecessor must be at 10 if temp is at 50 predecessor must be at 40 so predecessor in the thing it is just following temp okay so now what happens see the, i am just assigning temp to predecessor sorry predecessor to temp okay see here it is written over there we need to repeat up to step number five so this is my step number three where i started my loop step number four to take prid to temp so i am taking another pointer prid to temp and the step number five is temp to link of temp because we need to traverse it okay so let's start the traversing so temp will move further temp will go uh, out and pointing to the 40 now again check the condition is temp is equal to x no link of temp is equal to null no so what happens what happens your prid will point to temp so your prid move further and assign to temp next so temp is equal to link of temp step number five step number five temp arrow link of temp temp will move further and go ahead but 50. now again check is temp is equal to x no so again move further here it is temp will move further print will move further now check temp is equal to x yes you are correct where where x i didn't write x over there i didn't write x over there okay so this is my temp this is my print students you reach to the end of the linked list still you didn't find any x over there okay now link of temp is not equal to the condition becomes false so after completing these all five steps three four five three four five okay temp to link of temp and print to temp after performing all this step you didn't find any x so step number six is if temp is not equal to x you didn't find any x so just write no node found and then return but if it's not like that you already find the node when at the starting position so this is the first condition in the deletion then first you need to check whether the temp is uh, x is exist or not we have already did it then if x does not exist then we can write like uh, node is not found second condition we need to check x at the first position in the beginning if x is equal to first 
after initializing the temp after initializing the temp and print if you find that x is equal to first that means your, you need to delete your first node then what to do it is very much easy students if you are going to delete your first node if i am going to delete 10 over there then first just need to move to 40 if i am going to delete the 10 then i just need to move i just need to move first from 10 to 40 fine so now my first pointer will move from 10 to 40 and or list link list known from first to null okay link list the size of the link list from first to null here already the node temp or x whatever you call is out from the link list so it is deleted we can consider it is deleted fine it is pointed by temp and x so its name is temp or x now next condition if it's not like that now this is the correct one which we are looking for i want to delete sir 60 what should i need to do okay let's see first assign this print over there print will be pointed to temp and temp will move further link of temp again print to the temp temp will link of temp print to the temp temp will link of temp switch so now let's see now temp is at x temp is at x so you are not going to move further so what to do to remove the 60 i need to take the link of 50 link of 50 will pointing to 80 now i must have some pointers over there so it's pointing to 80 the name of the 80 is name of the 80 is link of temp okay and the name of the 50 is print but the link of the 50 is known as link of print so what I see this link is known as link of print. So what I need to do, I just need to move and this link is known as link of hex. So link of hex or link of temp. The link of the 60 is known as link of hex or link of temp. You can say anyone because at the 60 we have both pointers temp, temp and x both are there. Okay. So you can call AT by two names either link of temp or link of x. So what I need to do is I just need to link else part if it's not in the first then then just add part else link of print is equal to link of x see link of print is equal to link of x this is a main step now your link list like 10 40 50 after 50 directly move towards 80 after 50 directly move towards 80 correct so what happens over here we have just reached to a destination now your 60 does not have anything with 50 or 80 so what to do at the last point our node is deleted so this is the main step after deleting after deleting of the node you just need to restore it to the availability stack so last time it returned to the availability stack how to do that see this is my new node every each and every node must contain data and pointer yes or no yes so this is my temporary node this is my x the node whatever i deleted it contains two different pointers temp and x both so i just need to connect link of x or temp to available pointer so step is link of x arrow away so after assigning link of x to avail which will become my topmost node this is stack okay students this is available stack representing by link list now let me know which one is my top post node avail no temporary or x is my top post node so we need to move avail to x or avail to temp so this is my last point that is avail arrow temp so now avail pointer is moved further and pointing to temp and this my availability stack is completed such like this your whole deletion operation successfully completed what we have seen over here we have seen that how can you delete the node different conditions are there we take temp we take print first condition is that that if we want to delete something we need to check the underflow condition second one is if whatever you are going to delete is not there in the list okay so that's node not found third one is if your value is there but is just as a first position okay this one is for if x is equal to first if x is equal to first step number seven then you just need to write like this first arrow link of first you just need to move your first point to the next node and the last one is else link of print to link of x such like this you can perform the deletion operation the last step is return just write return 
So that's it for the today's lecture students. If you have any doubt, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.